In the midst of the meta movement, it somehow makes sense that the most powerful serial harasser and misogynist in the country would find the time to defend an alleged child molester. Trump scoffed at the allegations, saying that Roy Moore denied multiple women's accounts, as if that made them less than true. As if we were supposed to be believed the word of one man rather than a handful of women and even more witnesses. So this week, as so many of us are with family for better and worse celebrating the holiday, I'm thankful for the truth. The truth that women are telling across the country and the truth that so many Americans are believing. We don't need Trump's support or belief, the world's most famous liar is never going to be a champion of women or truth. Instead, let's be grateful to all the women coming forward, at great risk to their reputations and lives, to end the silence around abuse and assault. I hope they are all feeling unburdened, at the very least, and that they can feel our thankfulness for their bravery. Glass half it looks as if Mike Flynn is cooperating with Mueller's investigation and perhaps negotiating a deal. Happy Thanksgiving oh, and while we are all living most certainly in the bad place, the fantastic show that gives us all some much needed reprieve, The Good Place, has been renewed for another season. What I'm our tanks are I Yanadia McDonald it's or I am McDonald well, Thomas Jefferson was 44 when Sally Hemings was 14, and she couldn't consent, either. So sure. HTTPS T.co key one ilf from November 18th, 2017 Nels Scovel at Nelsco how UAL harassment affects even those who aren't touched. This is so key. Pick.twitter.com wow EHGTJM November 22nd, 2017 Adam B. Very at Adam Very three women alleged to at Christy Ellie and Oli at David Macau that Jeremy Pive and Uli assaulted or harassed them in 2009, 2003, and 1995. HTTPS T.Cov Turkos Beanier November 23, 2017 Jesse McLaren at McJesse Guess when it's a turkey he asks permission. Pick.twitter.com 2 gs 8 bvd November 21, 2017 Who I'm reading here in Carmen and Amy Britton with a sad but incredible investigation into UAL misconduct by Charlie Rose LYZ Lens on women's work and Julia Serrano on biological myths. When I'm listening to Ezra Klein talking with Rebecca Traster about Metu and the generations of female talent lost due to UAL harassment. How outraged I am the process for coming forward about harassment in Congress is difficult to the point of absurdity, so I'm at a morose 7 out of 10. How I'm making it through this week leftovers and pie for breakfast. As if you even needed to ask. Sign up below for a weekly email to hear my thoughts about the week and patriarchy.